Hello everyone. Today I would like to talk to you about an LMK's fourth quarter and full year of 2020 financial results. As you all know, the coronavirus pandemic has brought us new challenges. Lack of supply of steel combined with postponed demand created imbalances across global production chains and led to sharp price swings during the year. In May-June, steel prices at our core markets were down more than 25% compared to what we saw in January. By that time, most of the countries reassessed confinement measures and manufacturing activities started to pick up. Steel mills that were ordered to shut down or significantly reduce operations in spring couldn't keep up with the pace of end-user demand recovery. These factors, combined with elevated iron ore and scrap prices, drove steel quotations in certain regions to the levels we haven't seen for years. Despite volatility and uncertainty, we managed to grow our 2020 shipments by 3% year-on-year. Our flagship Lipetsk site was running at full capacity utilization throughout the year. Our long products division run rate bounced back from 65% in April to over 90% already in June and stood at this level till December. Capacity utilization at our European assets averaged 84% in the first quarter. The rolling capacity utilization rate at the U.S. plants remained low, however, driven by a lack of slabs available for duty-free imports and a labor strike. Despite a 3% year-on-year growth in NLMK Group's revenue in the fourth quarter, the top line for the full year was down 12% on the back of lower prices in mid-year, as well as due to higher share of semi-finished steel in our product mix. Let me now draw your attention to our quarterly EBITDA and dynamics in 2020. The spring lockdown did not materially affect financial results, and LMK demonstrated stable results in each of the first three quarters of the year. In the fourth quarter, EBITDA jumped to 890 million US dollars. Key contributing factors to this result were high steel prices, recovery to 100% run rate at Stolinsky after September incident, effects of strategy 2020 projects, as well as the accrued refund from the U.S. Department of Commerce, in line with the agreement we reached in November. As a result, our fourth quarter EBITDA margin increased to 37%. The group's net debt to EBITDA stood at 0.94 at the end of the year. NLMK Group generated almost $230 million of free cash flow, in the fourth quarter, that adds up to over $1.1 billion of free cash flow for the full year. As a result, NLMK's management recommended the board of directors to pay $570 million in the form of dividends for the fourth quarter. Moving on to the forecast for the first quarter of 2021, we expect steel production at NLMK Lipetsk to reach 3.5 million ton. For the full year, we plan to achieve the 14.2 million ton targets which is almost 2 million ton more than in 2020 as, and is in line with our guidance. This growth will be the reflection of the completion of our two-year large-scale modernization works at NLMK Lipetsk. Global steel prices remained very strong in January, and we expect average realized prices to expand in the first quarter of this year. However, spot prices might level off or moderately soften by the end of the quarter on the back of gradual capacity restarts and the end of active restocking. Given a certain time lag before spot prices convert into our revenue, we anticipate the recent strength in steel quotations to be reflected in our first quarter earnings. Let me now talk to you about the status of the strategy 2022 projects. We continue our journey of implementing operational efficiency initiatives across all business units. In 2020, the structural effect on EBITDA from these programs reached 100 and $74 million with an LMK Russia flat and the mining segments being the main contributors. Cumulative effect of strategy 2022 execution coming both from operational efficiency and investments reached almost $260 million US dollars last year. In 2020, we commissioned additional concentrate production facility, targeting an increase in the output from 17.5 to 20 million ton per year. Pellets output expansion is well on track to reach 8 million ton per year in 2021 as well. We have also started production of concentrate with 68% of firm content. 
The new continuous casting machine number no. 9 was launched in June and the cold charge stamping project at Altai Cox in August. Monetary contribution from those projects will be reflected in 2021 financial results. In 2021, we are about to complete the modernization of the hot strip mill at an OMK Lalovier, which will enable us to expand our product mix by adding higher strengths and thinner steels. Let's now turn to our progress in the area of sustainable development. Last year, we updated our climate commitments. NLMK Group will be aiming to reduce specific CO2 emissions to 1.91 ton per ton of steel by 2023, which is 3.5% lower compared to 2019. This target is backed by the pipeline of the specific projects. We constantly test innovative technologies and collaborate with the Russian and international partners in this area. Since 2000, we have invested over 1.3 billion in environmental activities, which translated in outstanding results. During the same period, we achieved two-fold reduction in specific area emissions other than CO2. External agencies recognize the progress that we are making in the ESG area. Lately, SAM Corporate Sustainability Assessment granted us 45 points, which is 12% points higher compared to the previous result. I would like to thank all employees of an ONK group who made our strong results possible in challenging market environment. I also highly appreciate investors' relentless trust in our story. Thank you and see you soon.